Okay. And a historian? What is this? Have you seen this before? 2010. Pop starlet Justin Bieber is at the height of her popularity. Everybody wants a Yo, can anybody double check this? For any, um, you know? From all around the world, people are demanding the bees. Young women are the worst offenders. Everybody had Bieber fever. But the question was, where should he tour first? His expert marketing team had a solution. They said, hey Justin, let's put it to a poll. Vote for your country, and if you win, we'll send Bieber there. Oh no. You, you need to vote, mate. You know, what happened to, to fucking girl power? Zig zig ah. So the poll opens. And so do the threads. Well, I mean, that was before. ideas are thrown around until a good one finally emerges. Let's do it. A strategy to make North Korea... Oh, was it something similar, thank you. And only a few hours later, they were rising in the poll. It passes Sweden, Chile, Spain... Wait, that's a Alaska. crazy amount of votes! Holy shit! Colombia, Turkey, Poland are all pushed out. Just one left. Best Korea does it again. By the end of the week, they were declared the winner. North Korea was okay. waiting with open arms, and everyone was celebrating. Okay. The marketing team pushed down, so they shut down the contest. Believers in North Korea were heartbroken. Okay, Look, dude. At least a valuable lesson was learned about online polls, and this was the first and last mistake ever made with them. 2012. Pitbull's marketing team has a brilliant idea. As a promotion for Walmart, they want to start. Yeah, we've seen this. It's good though. Okay, 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 Pitbull. That North Korea thing, that was a mistake. So instead, let's make it more local. We'll send you anywhere, but within the country. Ha, huh, take that, trolls. North Korea is off the table. Naturally, a thread started, and the lads started thinking through the problem. They were listening to Pitbull's latest track. Give me everything, which features the line, yeah right, picture that with a Kodak. Or better yet, go to Times Square, take a picture of me with a Kodak. The lyrical ingeniousness of the rhyming scheme intrigues them. <laughs> okay. Kodak, camera, cameras have shutters. shutters what a trash look, dude. Mind. Blinding lights. Light is electromagnetic energy. Electromagnetic energy causes aurora borealis. Where can you get the Aurora Borealis in the United States? Well, of I mean. course. Kodiak, Alaska. It's all linked. The remotest Walmart in the entire country. A place that was isolated and dangerous enough that hopefully he wouldn't return. The voting began and Kodiak, Alaska was the clear winner. Celebrations all round. However, this time, Walmart just went, sure. We'll give him some bear mace, he'll be fine. So he went, and he turned the whole thing completely around, and got some good publicity out of it too. Well, he actually did well it. Done. The score was one all. Later Wait, that year, he actually Pink popped off. marketing team had an original idea, but what a they god! Weren't going to some frozen wasteland, and they weren't going to North Korea. Ha! Huh. We'll go to the safest place in the whole world, an American school. Take that, trolls. Let's see you find some way to ruin this wholesome experience. Over at headquarters, Wait, I just, just, just realized, yeah, is it, he truly is Mr. Worldwide. Already working on the problem. That's brand this solidity, lift, dude. The Horace Mann School for the Deaf. Other schools are fighting hard to win, but they're no match for the Russian bots. Soon the competition was closed, and Horace Mann had won handily getting nearly 25 times as many votes as the school in second place. Trailer said, I'm not doing it, but then gave them a check instead for a total of $50,000. And that should have been the end of it. But then, 50K, easy. Taylor's marketing team had one more great idea. Oh no. Let's do another poll. No, no, Trailer, this time it'll be great. Kiss FM's biggest Swifty fan in the universe competition. You won't have to go anywhere ridiculous. You only have to meet one fan. Absolutely nothing can go wrong. True. Enter stage left, Charles Z. The appropriately aged fans never stood a chance. When manual voting wasn't enough, they enlisted the help of bots, 
quickly bringing him into first place. Soon, he had so many votes there was no way he could lose, and everybody at HP. Who the celebrated. fuck is this? But then, someone snitched. Snitch! Now! Some killjoy sent an email to the competition runners and explained how the voting system was being rigged. It was promptly shut down. Charles would never meet his idol. In the aftermath, the media was unnecessarily cruel to Mr. Z. Outraged, an online petition was formed. How is he creepy? But you can't keep a good man down. He was going to get the Taylor Swift experience one way or another. He thanked his supporters, and that was the end of it. It took many mistakes, but a valuable lesson was finally learnt about the internet and running online polls, and they had never been attempted Chat. again. Chat. Do media, do media like uh, platforms not get like backlash or like lose credibility when they when they do that? The end. That, that's gonna that's, okay. that's gonna weird to do that. Flip to Franco challenge. It's so much harder than it looks. Try to get the hand gestures as well. And that's where I'm gonna end today. So remember, if you like this video and like what I try to do on this channel, do it, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that little bell check so you get a notification when we upload these daily as usual. Actually, if you did miss yesterday's video, you want to click a tap right there to do so. Well, well, watch that. Well, if you're looking for something back and you've been oh, fuck, something. My name's Philip Frank, and you've been Phil Hollow Phase. I'll see you tomorrow. Nailed it. One take. Guys, that's actually good. I enjoyed that. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This person bought a device that can take the electrical signals given off by plants and translate it into music. This is kinda scary, dude. He then takes the device and hooks it up to a dead plant to show that it only works with living plants. Hook this up to a dead plant, and when it's hooked up, you will see that there is no signal. Chat, could you just take me res Wait, a dead plant? Let's see it. Let's see a gainer, Grandpa. No, no way. Oh, oh damn! Oh, I did it. <laughs> this person might be missing an ear, but that doesn't stop her from wearing a mask. Hi, this person wanted her dogs to come back inside, but they weren't really listening. The cat saw that they weren't listening and wanted to help out. <laughs> That's cute. What's up, dude? Poke. Aww. He's shy. Chat. These divers found. Chat. Is it is it true? They have like poison inside those like lumps or whatever. Is that how it works? Yeah, it is. These divers found this giant wall of fish off the coast of California. That's pretty cool, dude. The water in the ocean is so is so like interesting, but so scary. I kind of hate it. This cat went ahead and stole a big piece of chicken. Ow! Give me my chicken! Ow! <laughs> Ow! Oh, Chat. Man, stuck. Do the cats get salmonella if it's uh, if it's raw? They don't get it. It only attacks humans then. Is that a super volcano? This cat, for some reason, can't stop kicking itself in the face. What's <laughs> <laughs> up, yeah? Thanks, Nick. What are you doing? That's cute. <laughs> what up, what up? <laughs> Yeah, all good. Okay, so, 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 so,
<laughs> like dancing, dude. That's, That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better. That's crazy, and dude. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later.